guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chris, Chris's Treasure Chest. Look at this beautiful day. I think it's Saturday, June 8th. Um, didn't go garage sailing today, guys. I got a lot of stuff to do around the house and I wanted to take a break. I know it would have been the perfect day to go. I know there was a ton of sales. Um, I'm gonna try to start hitting them in another week or so. Uh, just been real, real busy. Um, I wanted to, pro I promise you guys, I wanted to do the um, May summary and I'll do that today. Show you what's sold. I'll pick a few items, what I think you'd be interested in um, and uh, see what I got for them. See what I paid and see what I got for them. Also, uh, last video guys, the um, eBay 10 item restriction. Um, thank you for the comments. I, I know I put that little thing out there about going to the dollar store and a lot of people got upset uh, of the comment hey it's just I'm passing a tip uh, to, to other resellers that I people are telling me so don't shoot the messenger just trying to help a lot of people and thank you for those of you that said just call eBay they'll lift the ban there you go that solves the problem uh, perfect so guys what we're gonna do we're gonna turn the camera uh, on the computer I'm gonna show you a few items and then we'll come back okay guys here we go here's some uh, I think it's about nine or ten items I selected to uh, show you guys um, of what I sold. Uh, here is the Vanmark 3017 trim cutter. Remember I found this at my local restore. I paid about $175 for it. Um, I, Like I said, I up, uh, I up purchased this if you want to call it. And um, I, I wanted $449 and I sold it within days for 350 bucks. So I made some money. Um, it was pretty, pretty nice unit, nice and clean, uh, brand new. Buyer's quite happy with it. They were actually the person in Brantford, Ontario purchased it. So really happy with that one. Here is, I don't know if you remember guys, I picked this up. I paid $29 less 20% coupon for donating a value village and um, I sold this for asking price $239.99 Contra uh, sorry Conrad L I E B H E R R mobile crane uh, this was a 150 scale a very nice solid solid uh, uh, steel construction there you see inside really nice never used um, there's a big collector's market for these guys if, you're, if you ever run into them. Uh, first time in my thrifting career, and I'll look of, I keep looking out for them. Now I know what they're worth. Here is, uh, what, a few videos ago, garage sailing. I got a call from a friend. Uh, one of their kids was doing an uh, electronics uh, recycling program. Somebody dropped off uh, this and a tape deck and uh, a receiver. I, for all three, I paid uh, 100 bucks. This was the first that went. This is the Harmon & Carden EQ8 graphic equalizer. They all came in their original boxes uh, with the manual. Very nice, very nice condition, this one. Um, basically like new. I had it for, for $249.99 um, and uh, I sold it for, uh, I think I got 200 for it at the end. Uh, it went to somewhere in the U.S. Um, shipping was quite expensive. But again, right there I doubled my money. And the other two were uh, items are freebies. What you'll see now, there's the tape deck, the Nakamishi tape deck. Um, again, this was in good shape. It was a BX125. The item didn't work 100%. Uh, the bands inside uh, were, were gone. And it wouldn't play. It played for a second and rewound, but it didn't fast forward. Uh, so I sold it as is. I could have got it fixed, um, but I just wanted to flip my money. I didn't want to invest any more money in it. So I asked 159. I got 110 for it, guys. So you know what? Right then and there, there I'm up what uh, 210 dollars my original um, investment. The um, I have the Harmon and Carden receiver still trying to sell that, and I'll let you know what I get for it. This is interesting, guys. This was sitting. In the electronics section of Value Village at the bottom shelf, it was a security camera and a TV monitor. The monitor worked fantastic, no issues, Hytron. There's the camera, you can see the lens, 
see the lens is not hooked up there. Um, the, th the threading was gone on it. I think I paid nine dollars nine i can't see more than ten dollars for this at the thrift store for both of them guys and uh i sold it for a hundred and nine sorry 99 dollars plus shipping and the interesting story um i think this is going to a, a, a production company company that does movies so I'm, they might be using it for um, a prop so uh you never know what sells guys and uh to flip if i could find a hundred of these to flip like this i would all day long it was the Hytron security camera and TV monitor. Keep selling the water, the water filters, guys. Anywhere from $25 to $39.99. Um, I think, what did I pay for them? I think I paid $10 bucks for each one. Um, I have four more left. Uh, I already made my money back hand over hand. Hand over fist, sorry. Uh, I, if I find these again for the same price, I will buy them. And it's funny. I have repeat buyers buying this every every few months when they have to change them. This I picked up. I've had this for a long time. This is a sealed 12-piece uh, lighting kit for your garden. It's got, it comes with the transformer, the wires, and everything. I bought this for $7.99 at the Salvation Army in Burlington, Ontario, Canada last summer. And I've kept it and kept it, and it finally went. Uh, it sold on May 2nd. And just spring starts here um i'm happy to get rid of it i was actually going to delist it and donate it back but it did sell so sometimes things take time to sell guys here's one of two mantle clocks that i have i bought both i bought i paid about 29 dollars for them um i got 69.99 for this uh i wish i got more um am i gonna buy them again uh i don't know uh, I still have the other one. This was a test to see if they do flip. The problem with these guys is the weight, uh, quite heavy. So um, the shipping is very, very expensive. The shipping you see there, guys, and on my on my slaughter, on my section of a video here, that's that's going to my house. So I'm in Milton. So that just it's just a default setting. These, this vintage sinus, yeah, like a sinus cold. Um, sp bookshelf speakers are made in Sweden. They are bookshelf speakers. They weren't very big. Uh, they were vintage. They worked. I tested them great. Uh, they worked great. Um, I was asking 99 100 bucks. A uh, guy offered me 65 and I took them. I only paid 14 bucks, I think, anywhere from... 10 to 14 dollars for them so i made really really good money i'm happy with it these vintage small bookshelf speakers if they work guys they do sell there are guys out there that collect these things a ton of them uh any vintage stuff like this the larger speakers i don't buy and resell i just too heavy to ship so <laughs> this year i paid five bucks for i think this was brand new in the box this is the vintage presto burger maker hamburger maker mint condition everything was in there guys i looked at the other ones that sold and um they're around the same price it sold basically within days that i purchased that i bought it if you were finding these vintage cooking um appliances or small appliances they do sell it's very very interesting how there are people out there that do collect things like this. So there you have it, guys. Let's uh, let's summarize the video. And uh, but guys, there are a few items I sold in the month of May. May sales were good. They started off really, really slow um, and then ended up strong, which I was really happy about. Uh, June, uh, it's, been, it's been weird. Uh, the first week was okay. Uh, and now moving into the second week of the month, it's been slow. I don't know what your sales are like. You can maybe leave a comment down below. Um, I don't know if what, what what's going on, but it'll, I hope it'll pick up. Um, again, I don't stop thrifting. I don't stop buying, and we, I don't stop reselling. So, but I wanted to show you one cool item I got uh, last week, um, and I think it's really really cool. It, Oops, sorry guys, moving the camera there. 
Um, let me just kind of put it back. Here it is, if you can see it. You guys can see that. Hold it over here, maybe. It's a CFL lamp. Yeah, a CFL trophy lamp. Um, can't find it anywhere. They used to sell it, I believe, on the CFL shop uh, website, but can't find it. There's no barcode on it, which I find strange. Um, I did a little bit of investigating, and it looks like maybe it was a giveaway. Um, so I paid $39.99, less 20 and I'm ho and I have it around 110 bucks. I want to see if a CFL, a CFL fan will pick it up. Uh, there are, believe it or not, loyal CFL fans in Canada, especially in the western provinces. So guys, that's it. That's it for now. Uh, I hope you liked my video. Um, I will continue to uh, do some more thrifting ones during the week. I hope this week, uh, when I get home, please, if you like the like button, hit it. Um, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And until next time, it's Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest.